Welcome to another Nonsense Wars repair thing. Today I will take apart a 47154 9-volt motor and try to address a common problem with these parts. Plastic Lego bricks are usually high quality and long lasting, but in my mind they have had a less good track record for powered parts and those made of other materials. The first geared 9 volt motor had a ring magnet that would often crack and jam the armature, killing it for good. Cables, tires, and even some stickers from the same period would also disintegrate after 5 to 10 years. Most of these clear 9 volt motors that I've come across don't run that smoothly and make a loud clicking sound. So let's open it up and see why. Four Phillips screws join the two halves of the casing. They are pretty heavily recessed, so it may be tricky to find a screwdriver that will connect properly. The gearbox and motor come out together but make sure to remove the PCB with the thermistor beforehand. Afterward, the two separate easily. Now we can see the problem. The plastic pinion gear on the motor has cracked and it engages unevenly, causing it to click. Not only is the noise annoying, but the gear can get stuck at low speeds and even slip on the shaft. It is theoretically an easy fix to replace it with a new and or better part. Uh, in fact, some revisions of the motor do have metal pinions, but sourcing the right one is apparently very difficult. The gear is a 5mm tall, 11 tooth, 0.4 modulus gear for a 2 millimeter shaft. I originally miscounted the teeth and bought a 10 tooth version from Amazon and that did seem to work okay but it had considerable slop due to the missing tooth. I ultimately found the 11 tooth version on AliExpress but the hole for the shaft is slightly too big and it only fits snugly on one of my two broken motors. So basically, I have yet to find a consistent source for this gear. Still, I think I've figured out the specs of the gear through this process and even managed to repair one of the motors with the new pinion. When putting it back together, I once again lubricated everything a little and here you can see all the plastic reduction gears in the gearbox. As with the M motor, you don't actually need to take the gearbox apart if you just want to mess with the motor itself. Finally, you can see how good it sounds with the new metal pinion. I have again labeled it for future reference. But wait, there's more. If you can't find the right gear, there is actually an easily obtainable, I'll bet expensive source. The pinion on the motor inside an M motor may be slightly shorter, but it still has the same tooth pattern. You may need a proper puller to access those gears though. I pulled one from one of the dead MOA motors and I damaged it at least a little bit because it took so much force to pull the gear off the shaft. Since these M motor pinions are a little shorter than the stock ones, you do need to make sure it lines up with the thin-ish first stage reduction gear, but otherwise it should run just as well. You can hear a little bit more noise from this motor, 
but that is most likely due to the minor damage I mentioned before. We'll see how these repairs hold up over time, but I have more confidence in these fixes than in cleaning the commutators in the M motors. On that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.